everybody, it's been quite a while since I last made a Disney video, so I thought I'd give you guys a Tsum Tsum update. It's almost been an entire year since Tsum Tsums came out in the United States, and oh yeah, today is May 22nd, Friday, which means I'm gonna be at Disneyland Parks for the 60th celebration. If you guys spot me, feel free to say hello. I will hopefully be there until 5 or 6 a.m. and I hope I have a lot of fun and I hope I get a lot of stuff to show you guys. I'm looking forward to making a 60th celebration 24 hour event video so look forward to that in the next month. Let's get started. As you guys know, these two were my first tombs. This was for my best friend Leah and this is from my high school friend Denise. They got it for me for my birthday last year so Tsum Tsums came out at the perfect time. And these pals here were my first buys of my Tsum Tsums. I can't believe I only got five that first day. Tigger is with me always in my backpack or in my purse. And I love him so much. He is just so adorable, isn't he? So cute. And Pooh, I like to keep him by my bedside table because he's he doesn't have any accessories except for ears. This is really perfect for squishing. And Dumbo is such a cute and pretty color that I keep him safely stored in the Disney bag. Um, this is actually the first one that I wanted when I found them when um I found out they were released online and I immediately grabbed Dumbo when I saw him at the stores. Next, of course, are Eeyore and Donald. Eeyore is cute, but I don't like his fur. It freaks me out a little bit. So I keep him stored also with Dumbo. And Donald is one of my absolute favorites. He is so cute. If you actually look at the Donalds now that are in store, it is a different material. It's furrier than this one. It's fluffier. While this material is smooth and nice. So I, I originally wanted to buy another Donald because I've already gotten this one so dirty from playing with him all the time. But all the Donalds um, that they still sell now are in poor quality compared to this guy. I will just stick with my dirty Donald. Also, his hand is stitched in this way so it looks like he's always waving hello. Next I have these three buys. Um, Ham, Lotso, and Jiminy Cricket. I know they weren't at the same time Jiminy Cricket came first. Um, it was because I did a pickup for, of Jiminy Cricket for someone and that one was adorable but when I went to buy one for myself it's not as adorable as the one I got. His neck is too long in this one. When I pick Tsum Tsums, I always make sure they look absolutely perfect before I decide to buy it. So I pick through a lot of Lotso's. Um, apparently they all have misshaped eyebrows. I mean, look at that. He has one bigger eyebrow and one smaller eyebrow. I like the color though, and I was kind of hoping he would smell like strawberries. Unfortunately, he doesn't. And I don't have any strawberry spray. Maybe I'll go to the Bath and Body Works and put some strawberry spray on him. And of course, him, Mr. Dr. Evil Porkchop. He is so cute. He is on par with Donald's cuteness. They've both got like beady eyes that are like adorable and just stare at you. And everything about him is his squishy nose. So I play with him just as much as I play with Donald. I love these two guys. I just like rubbing them on my face because of how soft they are. They just, they hang out by my bedside table a lot with I don't actually remember the order. I think the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs are next. Of course I only have the Seven Dwarfs because Snow White doesn't come with a button nose. She comes with a flat nose, so I refuse to have her. If you look at the Japanese ones, she has button noses like the dwarves. As you can see here, I did not remove any of the tags. And the dwarves all have these 3D noses that are so cute and adorable. But Snow White just has a flat nose, kind of like this. So I will not get any of the human tombs because none of them have the 3D noses in here in the US. I don't know why, it's, it's the same product, but for some reason, the US ones and the Japan ones are different. Next we have the Halloween Tsum Tsums. I think I got these from Japan, yes. There's Donald Daisy, Mickey Minnie. Mickey is a vampire, he's got a tooth right there. And Minnie is a witch. I love it because she's purple and I love purple. She's a witch. And then these two are, she's a pumpkin, he's a pumpkin, and she's just a little girl in a dress. I don't like this velvety material, it's really strange, and like, the squishiness is weird. So compare their faces. You can see this one's obviously cuter. Yeah, I got these from Japan, and it was really cool. They had a medium-ish sized Donald pumpkin carrier, kind of like the bee poo one. And their costumes, like, they're switched, so the ducks are these two costumes and the mice are these two costumes. I actually wanted those from inside the carrier and not have the carrier but I also wanted a carrier so I was conflicted and since you can't buy the carrier or you can't buy the tombs without the carrier I only got these four regular guys. 
Next, of course, were Christmas tunes. I got these from DisneyStore.com. Um, I chose to order online instead of heading to the stores to see them. And I have the four main characters. Donald and Daisy. They're so cute and white and fluffy. Look at that. And I have Mickey and Minnie, Santa and Mrs. Claus. They're so adorable. But this, like, weird material. I don't understand it. But the skirts are cute. So those are my holiday zooms. The most recent zooms that I've gotten are Easter Piglet and Easter Piglet. This is actually the first Piglet that I've gotten. They sold out of Piglet when they first came out. So all the other Winnie the Pooh series were out. Hopefully they'll come out with Rue and Rabbit and Kinga and all that soon. The Easter ones are so cute. I love this guy. I like to put them together and just like have them hang out with each other. I do pretend that they are real people and they talk to each other and stuff like that because I am a five-year-old child. The next one I got was Piglet. I was so excited when I found it back in stock. As you guys probably know, Piglet was sold out for the longest time. And also, they are now selling Tsum Tsums at Target uh, across the U.S., but I've heard that the quality control is not as good, the material is cheaper, and the stuffing is just different. Plus, a lot of them, I noticed that the lady from Lady in the Trap, her nose is like upside down or something, so like her face just looks really messed up. So don't try not to get any of the Target ones unless you make sure it looks exactly how you want it to look. A lot of them have not passed quality control, or they have passed quality control, but it doesn't pass my quality control. Lastly, my newest buy, the one I'm most happy about, I'm so excited, I've been looking at it online for over a year, almost a year, and it is of course Bee Poo! Bee Poo! Bee! I was so excited after I bought it. I took it to school with me. I had it in my car under a pillow so no one would steal it, but I took it to school with me. I went to Downtown Disney the day after they put it out and grabbed one. I was so happy and this is called a Bee Poo Carrier. It's the medium, it's smaller than the medium size. Oh wow. And it's a carrier so it has a hole inside to put four tombs. Now you guys might be wondering, did that come empty or did it come with the four tombs that you have mentioned? Yes, it does come with four tombs and of course they are all bumblebees. They've all got bee costumes, they've all got blue wings, and they've all got a ten eye. How cute is that? Like, I absolutely love this. Of course, this one's cuter than this one. But look! Oh, yeah, this one. Okay, out of these four, like, I opened all the carriers and I studied every single carrier. This was the most perfect one. Unfortunately, out of these four, three are perfect, and this one's a little deformed. His face is a little slanted here. But the other three are perfect, and that's all I care about. So look how adorable he is with wings and antenna. Here is Tigger. So now I have three Tigger tombs. I keep this by my bedside table with the other ones I keep by my bedside table. And I just randomly like have it on my face or have it sitting next to me. I remember when I first got these guys, I just had them on my bed with me every single day and like I would sleep with them, I would hold them in my sleep. I'm obviously not my age. So this is Tigger, Tigger. <laughs> And here is Eeyore. He's been safely kept inside a bag for a while. Brothers! They are brothers! Yeah! Piglet is here too. This piglet looks a little bit fatter than this one, but it's alright. I just love the bee costumes. Of course, I just love these two. And like, that's all I care about. And this guy. Look how cute his face is. And his face is really squishy. I just haven't cut off the tag yet. So, um... I just fold it inside so I don't accidentally like fold it while crease it while I'm playing with it. But I like squishing his face because of how soft it is. And I just like touching the bumblebees. And playing with the handles. I can't believe I forgot this, but I also have armored Baymax. This is the only one I found that wasn't bent. A lot of them were bent back and weird. So I also got this from Downtown Disney. Same time I got the honey bee boo poo. So yeah. 32. So that was my Tomb Tomb collection. That's all I have as of right now. It's May 20th, I think. Now you guys know what tombs I have. Um, I'm looking forward to the aerial ones. I plan to get the animals. I don't like any of the human ones because they all have like this weird flip-up felt hair. I'm not a big fan of that. So I will probably get Max and Flounder 
maybe Sebastian. I know they came out already at the beginning of this month, but they come out at Downtown Disney a month after they come out in the Disney stores, and Downtown Disney is always in stock. So if you guys ever want one or want me to help you pick one, feel free to comment below. I will be happy to do pickups for those who are nice enough to ask. Um, you guys can follow me on Snapchat, especially today. See my Disney 24 hour event story. I will hopefully be Snapchatting all day. Follow me on Instagram. I will be posting pictures sometime in the future. It's CaddyLoo816, or you can find Tigger Adventures on Instagram, and that's also me. All the links are below. S subscribe to me here. Subscribe to my other channel. It has vlogs, and I will definitely be making a 24 hour event vlog. I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying for the whole end of the video. Have a great day. Hope to see you there. 